Hello, it's John Bauman, and here we have a GDP calculation question. So let's say that the following information is given to you here. We know that wages are 300, interest income in the economy is 50, rent for landlords is $40, profits for business owners is 60, taxes for the government, income to the government is 100, Capital consumption allowance is 30. We're producing 200 products. The other given is that the population is 90. Now we're being asked to calculate gross domestic product and then net domestic product. So now let's uh, let's get to work here. In terms of calculating gross domestic product, we know that gross domestic product can be calculated two ways. First, we can take the prices and quantities of the goods and services, of all the goods and services produced. Now we have the quantities. We, we know that there are a total of 200 products being produced. We don't even know what kind. Uh, but we don't have prices. So we cannot use the expenditure approach, the prices times the quantities for calculating nominal or real GDP. Now we do have wages and interest and rent and profit in direct business taxes and capital consumption allowance. So all these all these components are right here in this equation. We have all six of those components they're given in the question. So let's calculate, let's add up those six and then we'll have GDP. So wages is 300, interest income is 50, rent is 40, Profits 60, indirect business taxes, IBT equals 100, and then capital consumption allowance. That's the same as depreciation. That's CCA. If you add them all up, you uh, get uh, 350 plus 40 is 390, plus 60 is 450, plus 100 is 550, plus 30. So you add them up. You can do this in your calculator too. And you get a total of $580. So that's GDP. Now the other question is, what is net domestic product? Now net domestic product is the first five of these. So it's these five. Wages, interest, rent, profit, and indirect business taxes. So it's all of them except CCA. All of them except depreciation. Well, the first five, if you add them together, will get you 550. It's the same as 580 minus the 30 here. So net domestic product is equal to 550.